Let's take a look at how to get more done in a day. Are you looking for ways to increase your efficiency so that you have more extra time? Are you trying to figure out what extra time is because it's been so long since you've seen it? Well, that's what we're gonna tackle today. Do you find yourself feeling exhausted and overwhelmed every single day, but by the end of the day, you don't really feel like you actually got much done? During our time together today, I'm going to give you a list that you've never done before, but will make a huge impact in your efficiency going forward. And I wanna share with you the dirty little secret that most super productive people in the world already know, but don't typically share. So stay tuned, we're gonna have a great time. So the first thing I wanna share is the fact that you and I have been raised with a certain amount of stories that aren't necessarily true. For instance, if you've heard anything about Bigfoot, Bigfoot probably doesn't exist unless he's the first naturally pixelated animal in the universe, right? And then we have to look at things like Santa Claus. And, and if anybody's upset right now that I said Santa Claus, it's okay, go back to your safe place, Santa Claus is real. But the, the other myth that we've been raised with is work-life balance. It does not exist. And I want you to think about this. There's people that tell you that you need to reorder your priorities. Oh, you'll get more done. You just need to put things in a different order. I want you to think about that. If you have a list of 20 things and you can't get those 20 things done in a day, if you put those things in a different order, you still can't get those 20 things done in a day. That is stupid advice, okay? And so we have to think a little bit smarter about this. How is it that we're able to get more done if we can't finish what's already on the list? And the answer is we have to learn how to push things off our plate. Let's talk about pushing those things off your plate. I remember maybe about 15 years ago, my husband had horrible allergies and I decided this one weekend I was gonna take the weekend off and I was gonna dedicate myself to cleaning the house from top to bottom, getting all the dust out the crevices, just anything you could think of, I cleaned that whole house from top to bottom. Well, that following Monday, my mentor called and he asked me, what have you been up to? And I told him, oh, well, you know, CJ, that's my husband, you know, his allergies have been bothering him. And so while he was at work, I was cleaning up things just to make sure when he came home, he could just breathe for once. And I was so proud of myself. And you've probably guessed I was fishing for a compliment. I thought that my mentor was gonna say, ah, oh, what an amazing wife you are. How good of you to do that. Y'all, this very mild mannered man ripped me a new one. And he said, Crystal, why in the world are you wasting your time doing that? I said, what do you mean? And he said, how much do you charge an hour for consulting? And I told him what my fee is. He said, why are you paying that for house cleaning? And a light bulb went off. He said, this is the last time I ever wanna hear about you cleaning your house again. If you can generate money in one place that is more than the cost of, of taking care of something, then you generate the money and you pay someone else to do it. Because one, you don't wanna do it and overpay, and two, it opens up opportunities for other people. Doing everything yourself is selfish. His words, I was like, wow, totally blew my mind. Well, it turns out that he was sharing something with me that apparently a lot of successful people already knew, but I wasn't there yet. I was at the infancy of my career. You may find this interesting. According to a fortune poll of women who have at least one direct report, they found that at least two thirds of them use some type of outside service to help them in the home. That could be childcare, that could be grocery delivery, that could be having food meal preparation or actually having someone in the home to cook. And many of these women use multiple services. But what they found was that women that are up to the VP to CEO level, that increased to over 75% of them using those services and they use a wider variety. And so what that means is that the trick to getting more done in a day is to actually leverage other people or other technologies resources. So now I have a little activity for you. Feel free to just pause the, pause the video if you need to for just a second after I give you the, the instructions. But I want you to create a list. And no, this isn't a list of your daily to-dos and the standard way that you think about it. But I want you to think about all the different tasks that you do, paid and unpaid, all the different jobs that you hold. So for instance, some of you are dog walkers. Some of you are taxi or Uber drivers, right? I want you to write down all of these jobs that you do paid or unpaid on a sheet of paper, okay? Go ahead and pause the video until you do that. Okay, now that you're back, I'm trusting that you actually did it. Now I want you to go down that list and look at each one of those items. Do you enjoy doing it? 
Or is it something that every time you have to do it, you're like, ugh. Go ahead and put a happy and a sad face next to each item based on if you wanna do it or if you really don't wanna do it. So we'll also pause right here. If you could make any job magically disappear, go ahead in the comments section and share which one of those jobs you really want to be rid of. Just take a second, we have more juicy information and tactics for you, but in the comments section, I'm just curious, which jobs would you make disappear? Okay, so now we've evaluated which jobs we wanna keep, which jobs we wanna give away. Now, some of them I can't help you with. You know, if you said you're a parent and there's a sad face next to it, I got nothing, okay? I don't know what to tell you. But here's what you can do. Look at those sad faces and try to figure out how to make as many of those items disappear. Because the magic is, is that we don't all have the same happy and sad faces. For instance, in terms of chores, I love dusting. I like to see things polished and shine. I know people who absolutely hate that. I also have family members who love washing dishes by hand. It's a stress reliever for them. I hate doing dishes and I especially hate having to put them away. And so sometimes it's a matter of strategically figuring out how can we outsource those sad face items. Now, it might be an app that does some of those things. So I don't really care for grocery shopping in person. So I usually get my groceries delivered and I've done this for years, even pre-pandemic. The difference is pre-pandemic, people used to tease me about it. Now it's a lot more common and everyone's doing it, right? But this doesn't even take money because at the end of the day, I realize that not everyone's working with the same resources, right? Sometimes it takes just a little bit of creativity. So maybe you're great at baking. Maybe you like to make desserts or maybe you make great casseroles. Maybe you have a neighbor who has an immaculate yard. He's a widower, maybe doesn't cook that much. Well, guess what? If you need help with your yard and that is not one of your happy faces and maybe you, you don't have the desire or the funds to hire someone to take care of your yard, strike up a deal with that neighbor. Make him a casserole once per week and then have him cut your grass. I used to do something really similar with one of my neighbors. I'm a great baker, y'all. I make really, really good desserts. I'm known for that. So I had a neighbor that I would go out of town often. And at the time we didn't have one of those sprinkler systems that was connected through the yard. I was in this kind of trendy, weird neighborhood where we didn't have hookups for certain things. And so I would just bring my neighbor desserts and he would take care of my yard while I was out of town. Easy peasy, he's happy, I'm happy. I was off shooting one of those items that gave me the sad face but he was doing something he enjoyed because he loved taking care of his yard. You can do the same thing. It just takes a little bit of creativity. In fact, if you have teenagers at home, I don't know if you've ever seen those meal delivery services. I always tell my friends that have kids that they're using them wrong. You don't order those so that you can cook. If you're the busiest one in your family, you order those so that your other family members with more time can cook. Just throwing that out there as an option, right? Now, some of you right now, the thought of giving away certain things that you do to someone else, it's giving you hives. You're a type A personality. And I used to be that person. I am a recovering type A. But here's a huge spotlight on that dirty little secret I mentioned in the very beginning. You've probably heard people say things like, we all have the same 24 hours in a day. It's all in how you use them. That is a flat out lie. We don't all have the same amount of hours in a day. I'll give you an example. Let's say that you have 24 hours in your day, but let's say that you have an at-home nanny that comes and stays for five hours a day. Now, technically, you're benefiting from 29 worth of hours in the day because that five hours that person is dedicating to your children or your household are hours you don't have to spend yourself. Some people have thousands of people working for them. They have hundreds of thousands of hours in a day. And so we have to get rid of that mode of thought where we all have the same amount of hours in a day. Someone that only has 24 hours in the day, comparing what they get done to me, someone who outsources to technology and humans daily, they're going to come up feeling short. And that's not fair because I have help, whether it's paid help or trade help. So hopefully this is making sense to you and you're starting to think about, hmm, how can I get better use out of my time in the day? So now the question is, what do you do with this? What do you do with the tasks that you do retain? How do you organize this? How do you ensure you're getting the most amount of things done? There's no one way. You have to find the way that fits your personality. So for instance, me, I love checklists. There's many different apps where you can create daily or weekly to-do checklists, or even just a list of those items that as they add up, you just put them there. And when you have a few minutes, you take care of one of those things. I'm a checklist person, but because I use Evernote, as an app for many of the things that I do to collect information for projects and, and family activities and things, I just create a checklist in there every morning and check it off there. But there are specific apps that their whole goal is to help you with to-dos. So for me, checklists work great 
because it's almost like a drug. Like when I, when I just touch it and I hit that check mark, I'm like, ah, feels great to me. But that's not how everyone else works either. So you have to figure out the system that works for you. I know some people who use the Pomodoro method, which is basically where you're doing work in like 20, 25 minute increments. So maybe you dedicate 20 minutes to a task, an alarm goes off, okay. Maybe you do another 20 minutes or maybe you do 20 minutes on another task. So managing time, blocking time is another way that you can organize yourself to be more efficient and effective with those things you don't push off your plate. And for those of us that are nerds, I've even seen decks of cards created to help people get things done where basically they take on the role of a superhero and they go through these deck of cards to get their challenges for the day, right? So there's so many ways to be organized and anyone that tells you that their way is superior, they're not really being helpful to you because you have to do whatever works for you and whatever gets you charged up and excited. So if you're a check mark person like I am, lists are amazing. If you're someone who likes to block time, the Pomodoro method. If you're someone who's a little scattered everywhere but loves video games, you know what? Imagining yourself as a hero and using a hero deck might be your key to success. Hopefully the information I've shared today is helpful to you, but I do want to give you just one more juicy tip, and I hope you're ready. Do you have things around you, either at work or at home, that every time you see it, it irritates you? It's not a high enough priority where you stop what you're doing, but maybe it's a hinge that needs to be tightened, or maybe a little mark on the wall that you need to use a magic eraser to get off. Maybe it's calling a family member that you don't have the most fun speaking with them, but you know you should just give them a quick five minute call. Well, I schedule every single day in my to-do list one item that'll take the pebble out of my shoe. That's what I call it. So what's the pebble out of my shoe thing for the day that if I do it, I'm gonna get some relief, like Ugh, I've been meaning to do this thing. Um, but it's not something big. It's not something that'll necessarily take a great deal of time. And if you schedule that a day at a time, or even I know people that dedicate one day out of the month where one day they just have a checklist or a to-do list just to those pebble out of your shoe items. So make sure that you're taking time regularly, whether that's just one item a day or giving yourself a few hours a month to knock out those items too because you'll feel refreshed. You'll see the progress that you're making. And again, we're focusing on those things we keep on our plate but your task now is to figure out how to push some of those sad face items off of your plate. The great thing is, if we're talking about pushing things off of our plate, it's because we're looking forward. We're trying to have a better life in the future. And I just happen to have a free gift for you. In the description, you're going to see a link to download my Future Ready Playbook. Go ahead right now, click that to download, get your copy. Not only will you be ready to get more done in a day, but you're gonna be ready for your future too.